Sports Zone starts now. Folks, the clock is winding down to less than 24 hours until the Kansas City Chiefs 2023 training camp is officially in the books. Today, KC took the field at Missouri Western for the second to last day of camp. Here's ABC 17's Chanel Porter with more on who's standing out going into week two of preseason play. Day 17 of Kansas City Chiefs training camp here at Missouri Western has wrapped up, meaning that the final day is on the horizon. The Chiefs have two more preseason games to prepare for, and after that, a ton of roster cuts to follow. Good morning, good morning. For nearly four weeks, the Kansas City Chiefs have jogged down this hill and walked onto this field at Missouri Western. But what sets Chiefs training camp apart from the rest? There's no days off. There's no easy days. We're just... It's not like other places around the league where, you know, you might be a 10 year vet and get a day off here and there. It's like if you're healthy, you're going. Vets returning to reclaim their spots and rookies fighting to beat them out is what training camp is all about. Fresh blood is in the room. There's some young guys, uh, you know, trying to figure out their way, you know, figure out the system. There's a ton of volume that gets thrown at these guys throughout training camp. Um, and the goal is, you know, to, to, to get down the playbook and then play fast. This is the time for every player on the team to take the lens and zoom it in. Little details. And so there's a thousand of them that you can't get in one install. And it just takes rep after rep. But this isn't where the learning curve stops. For the Chiefs offense to stay at the top, they have to continue to evolve throughout the season. Coach says keep it fresh. We're always doing something new because so is the defense. They're catching up. And it becomes just a matchup. And if you can't just win on matchup, now you have to come up with something different or make them have to think. And while we've seen a lot of guys on the practice field, that number will be cut nearly in half on August 29th when the roster goes from 90 to 53. It's almost like a draft board. These, these guys get spit out onto an electronic board and it's a ranking. So over the next few weeks, the question is who will go and who will stay on the roster of the reigning Super Bowl champions. The Chiefs will be back in action this Saturday for week two of preseason play in Arizona at seven o'clock. For now, reporting from Chiefs training camp, Chanel Porter, ABC 17 Sports. You can watch those full interviews from today with the Chiefs position coaches, plus extended highlights of that practice on our website at abc17news.com.